This is Mount Batar and is the second tallest volcano on the island of Bali. And today, we are going to attempt to climb it. Oh, and it's active. The last time it erupted was in the year 2000. Our team consists of myself, Nick, my mum and our guide Drew. An adventure like this begins with a very early wake up call. Okay, good morning. It's currently 2.36 a.m. that is, and we are just waiting to get picked up for our morning hike. Really excited for this one. It took a little bit to get out of bed, but uh, can't wait to see the sunrise from this hill. It's just gonna be amazing. We have started our adventure for today. We are hiking to the top of Mount Batar. So it's an early start, but that means it must be a pretty cool adventure just met our guide, his name is Jude, and we are starting the hike. We've got about an hour and 20 minutes to the top. Hopefully we get there for sunrise. Pretty breezy start so far. Fairly flat. We'll see how it goes in a bit. <laughs> Lonely dog. Alright, uh, we've definitely made it to the hill. We're about 20 minutes, half an hour in, so at least another 40 to go. It's all hills from here. We've made it quite a way up the mountain, not too far to go. It's steep. Yeah, it's getting hotter too, so starting to sweat. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's not a winding path. This is just up. straight up the mountain. We're taking a few breaks, but we're getting there. Just enjoying it along the way. It's a really cool experience. If you have hiking shoes or if you have trail shoes, definitely recommend bringing those on this yeah, trip. Very, very slippery. I think we forgot to mention as well, Mount Batar is actually an active volcano. So we're hiking a volcano at the moment, which yeah. is pretty cool. Insane. Yeah. All right. Let's go. My mum is joining us in Bali for a little while. So she's joining us on this adventure, which is really awesome. So she's hiking this mountain with us. Yes, we're climbing 1717. It's my biggest climb Thanks. today. So I hope the Garmin's got this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good to record. I need to yeah. check it. Yeah, thanks yeah. to these guys for taking me along. And we made, we made it. it. We made it. Jenna. Yeah. Let's go, Jenna. Congratulations. <laughs> <sighs> We've made it to the top. Drew took us to a, a kind of separate area, um, a little bit away from everyone because it gets quite busy up here. But he brought us stools and now we're waiting for him to give us breakfast. What have we got? Eggs? Yep, we've got bread, eggs, and a chocolate snack and a hot drink. Yep. Once the sunrise comes, everyone's going to come over here. So we've got front row seats which is really good amazing he is so sweet as well the way he like took us up the mountain he was so caring helped us up all the big steps and everything like that and we got to know him which was really nice yeah. as well awesome what did you think incredible spectacular views on the way up even in the dark black darkest sky but all the lights that we could see not so keen on the slippery rock <laughs> that was a bit challenging i just loved it there it is first sign of sunrise We savoured the fleeting moments of this beautiful sunrise as you saw and then these crazy clouds rolled in and we had this massive white backdrop which was still kind of cool to look at but we decided to hike the rest of the way along the mountain to get to the other side of the volcano while hoping that it would clear up. While we waited for the sky to clear we made a pit stop and our guide showed us how to make the volcano steam to keep us warm because at the top it got quite chilly. Wind. Uh, when I blow this fire and smoke is coming out there, uh, because that is uh, volcano steam and then connect with fire. Yeah. Come on. Oh. Oh. Wow. Real side? Yeah. Jenna, you can go. <laughs> and the smoke is warm. Yeah. And this mountain already 26 time eruption. 26, 26 yeah. time, and then start from 18 and 04, and the last is 2000 year. Yeah. 2000 years. 
before I was born. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then for the biggest eruption is 1926. 1926, yeah. And but uh, here's no, okay. now someone died. Yeah. That is epic. Usually, we can see lava frozen. There is gray, over there is black, and over there is green. Oh, wow, okay. yeah. And for the green one, there is the government grow eucalyptus there. Yeah. That's uh, why that is green. The black one is really natural because that is the younger one. Uh, younger one. The younger uh, one. Okay. And the gray one, that is a little bit older. Mm. It's like the gray is 1905, <laughs> yeah. and the black is 1963, yeah. and the green really old. Okay. 18, 18 and 88. Wow, yeah. Uh, and for the last eruption, it's not, not lava flow. Oh, okay. Oh, no lava flow, no, okay. Yeah. Just small gas and something. Yeah, yeah. As we got closer and closer to the edge of the mountain, the sky began to clear, and we were so thankful for the views that that brought. We were able to see Lake Batal, which is the biggest lake on the island of Bali, and we were able to see Mount Agung, which is the biggest volcano in Bali, as we were hiking the second tallest. It really showed us the height difference and why it takes so much longer. This is incredible. I just, I can't get over the views. I'm so, so happy that we did this. If you come to Bali, put it on your list. It is a must. And we will link in the description below where we booked it and also our guide as well. This is not real. Like, I'm in heaven. It, it's, I'm in the clouds. <laughs> it doesn't get better than this. This is amazing. Wee. And back down we go. <laughs> Alright, so this is the hill we walked up. We couldn't see much on the way up, but uh, now we know what we'd actually walked up. It's pretty steep. Looks way better in the light anyway. <laughs> We're going down. It's very steep and very slippery. Mum and I have already almost fallen over. And Nick actually as well. So we're just being very careful on the way down. On the hike back down, I wanted to tell you a bit about our guide, Drew. He is truly always smiling and happy. He loves his family and loves to share about them. He is a 20 year old who lives with his parents as well as his wife and 10 month old baby boy. Nick and I are only one to two years older than him and for us, we are at a very different stage in our life. But it was fascinating to learn about his family life and how happy it makes him as well as how hard he works to provide for them. Drew works as a hiking guide and for him this means waking up at 3am. I asked him if he did this every day or if it was a once a week kind of job. He said he does it whenever the boss says that there is clients and that sometimes means every day of the week. We arrived at the bottom of the mountain by about 9am but for Drew this was not the end of his day. He would go home and take a nap before waking back up to spend the rest of the day working on the farm as his family owns an onion farm. He also is a driver when he doesn't have a client for the Mount Batar hike. This man is truly amazing and we feel blessed to have met him, to have heard his story and to call him a friend. We hope that one day we can visit him again and meet his beautiful family. So we... I actually hiked all the way up there, Past the clouds. way through the clouds, and then back down. Insane. Oh, do you want me to just turn mine off? You don't have this. Oh, okay, Is that yeah. better? Yeah. Excuse me. Oh. Life, Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> banana sandwiches. Hot banana. You still kind of can't really see it right now because it's still foggy. But when we got here this morning, we couldn't see down there. We didn't really know how steep it was. Turns out, yeah, we were sitting right on the edge of a very steep cliff. <laughs> but it was a little bit slippery. Just, just a little bit. <laughs> um, Oh, it's good. 